Welcome to Tab Briefs, a weekly look at headlines from the world of faith for January 1st, 2021. I'm Tab Media Content Editor Carrie McWhorter, and here are some of the headlines that grabbed our attention this week. Organizers have announced that the annual National Prayer Breakfast will be a virtual event in 2021 due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. The gathering is normally held on the first Thursday of February each year in Washington, D.C., and for seven decades, the event has brought together government, business, and religious leaders for a time of prayer and reflection. Every president since Dwight Eisenhower has attended the National Prayer Breakfast, and at the first one in 1953, Billy Graham was a speaker. The 2021 event will be the first to go virtual, of course, and though details are still being finalized, the event will be streamed online, organizers say. And now to another event held annually in Washington, the 2021 March for Life. The March for Life has taken place in the nation's capital on or near January 22nd since 1974, one year after the Roe v. Wade decision that legalized abortion in the United States. Since that time, the march has grown to include hundreds of thousands of marchers around the world. Various groups estimate there have been approximately 60 million abortions in the U.S. since the Roe decision. The 48th annual March for Life is scheduled for January 29th, and a lineup of speakers has been announced that includes Southern Baptist Convention President J.D. Greer, Tim Tebow, former NFL player Benjamin Watson, and Focus on the Family President Jim Daly. Greer will be the first SBC president to speak at the event, and Watson made news in late December when he and his wife Kirsten partnered with the Ethics and Religious Liberty Commission Psalm 139 project to, do to donate an ultrasound machine to the Palmetto Women's Center in Rock Hill, South Carolina. It was the second time the Watsons have part partnered with the ERLC in Psalm 139 project. And finally, the global refugee issue remains a concern as we turn the calendar to 2021. Nearly 80 million people worldwide have been forcibly displaced from their homes, and for most of those people, permanent resettlement is an elusive dream. Last year, 107,800 refugees were resettled, according to the IMB, but millions are still waiting, and the average time it takes refugees to be resettled is between 17 and 18 years. However, most will never be resettled. Representatives with the IMB work with refugees around the world. They report that for many of these displaced people, the future looks bleak. They will likely live the rest of their lives in inadequate housing with little access to employment, medical care, or education. Permanent resettlement is defined by the United Nations High Commission for Refugees as the selection and transfer of refugees from a state in which they have sought protection to a third state that has agreed to admit them as refugees with permanent resident status. IMB Representative Gail Davis, who serves in the city of Cape Town, South Africa, says she has hope that the lives of the refugees she works with will get better, but she's, on, she's seen only a few instances where that has happened. In Greece, where nearly 200,000 refugees and asylum seekers from Central Asia have sought refuge, receiving approval for permanent resettlement is becoming harder and harder. IMB Representative Darlene King says she and her co-workers spend time in refugee camps, sharing the gospel and doing what they can to help, but the stress and lack of resources takes a toll on the families. When we show the love of Christ through meeting felt needs, People see a difference in Christians and the way they were treated in their passport country, King said. This month, Tab Media will feature in-depth reporting on the ongoing battle against human trafficking and on efforts to curb or end abortions in the United States. Subscribe to Tab today to get all the latest coverage on these and many more issues that are important to people of faith. Those are your Tab Briefs for January 1st, 2021. Thank you for joining us today and Happy New Year.